Last time on Let's Turn It Up World in Japan. I hear we're about to uh, embrace a true snowball fight competition. There's actually a lot of competitions going on right now. There's a game going on right up here to the left of us. See one in the red team. Red team and Team Zebra. You gotta watch out for those deadly lobs. Oh! You have to really maneuver around the lobs as they come across. Oh! Wow! Uh, he's actually the uh, the boss. boss. All right, he's the boss, the president <laughs> of President this year, for sure. Hey. 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 All right, all right, all right. We have made it to Honshu, Japan. Now, we actually arrived here via our first taste on the Shinkansen, also known as the bullet train. But don't worry, we have a full experience of the bullet train, first class experience, as we're taking that to Tokyo to pick up our brand new RV. Now, give me a second. Woo! Okay, we're, we're kind of used to cold weather, but I had to fix my sock there for a second because it was a cool breeze just riding up my leg. Well, today we are exploring the northern tip of Honshu called Aomori. And Aomori, we're very excited to explore what this little town has to offer. Now, it's supposed to be the snowiest city in Japan, but it doesn't look like it right now. Even though it's snowing, it might prove us wrong. But we're here to explore the famous snow monsters and we're really excited to share what that's all about. Right now we're meeting up with a local, Tomio-san, who's going to take us around to show us a little bit of Aomori including a famous fish market because what do they have for breakfast? Fish. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Tomio-san. How are you, Tomio-san? Hi, Tanya-san. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Dave-san behind the camera. Hi, Dave. Uh, nice uh, to meet we're you. We're very, too. very excited today to, yeah. to see what we are going to explore here in Aomori. Yeah. Now, we've heard there was a famous fish market. Yeah. They're going to be taking us to, and yeah. maybe, just maybe, some snow monsters. We shall see. I know the <laughs> weather permitting, hopefully we can see some yeah, snow monsters. Yeah, but yeah. this is Tomio-san, you guys. We're in good hands. Hi. Nice to meet My you. name is Tomio. Yes. All right. So shall we, shall we get going? Okay. <laughs> so what Aomori is actually known for from a fish perspective is very fatty tuna or bluefin tuna. Oma tuna, I understand, from Tomio-san. So we're gonna go and get some uh, amazing tuna here at the fish market, it sounds like. You excited, baby? I am so excited. I've never had tuna for breakfast, but... <laughs> Always the first, right? Tuna for breakfast. It's a fatty tuna, so I'm ready to uh, warm up. <laughs> <laughs> We have made it to the fish market here. It's the Amari Gyo Sai Center. And uh, I'm excited to try this out. It's a brief walk from the hotel that we were staying at. And actually, we're getting some snow here. It's slowing down, so maybe after we take some time to enjoy some fish here. I see some snow monsters. <laughs> So as you come in, the first thing you have to do is purchase tickets. So you don't purchase things here via uh, credito or cash. You purchase the tickets and the tickets are what's going to get you your food along the way. Very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we're here to purchase our tickets. So you get 2,000 yen, we'll get you 12 tickets. One of those tickets you will use to get a nice bowl of rice, which will go nicely with the assortment of fish or items you want to add to your dining experience. So I guess what we'll do is we'll purchase some of those. Are you having some? No, just, okay, just me. Okay, perfect. 2,000 yen, and those are our tickets right there. Love it. Nope. You want to get yeah. Oh, you got a tray too? Yes. 
I'm satisfied. Perfect. So one ticket down, you have 11 tickets now. 11 tickets to go. <laughs> uh, salmon. Salmon. Oh, you're starting with a salmon. I do like salmon roe. I'm gonna roll. Oh. I love salmon roe. <laughs> love salmon roe. <laughs> Salmon row. Mm -hmm. two, oh, two tickets. Oh, oh okay. Hey, Hi. Mamuro, 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 Two tickets. Oh, one piece. Okay. You have to get some more tickets. I might have to get some more tickets. That's snow crab. More snow crab. Oh, that looks good, yeah. Is that one ticket? Oh, yes, please. Snow crab. Is there a hairy crab here? Yeah. Oh, hairy crab, please. Yeah. Hi, Eric. I have to go to the mask. Wonderful. I have a good assortment of things on here. And I still have some tickets left. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. I've never seen that before. And what is that one there? Little chicken? Little fatty chicken. Little fatty chicken. Yeah. Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have boiled shrimp. A little different kind of breakfast, right, Tanya? Yes, a very different kind of breakfast. I'm, <laughs> I'm very excited to give all this a shot here. Yes, please. Doesn't have the head on it. All right. Nice. We have a nice little spot to sit down. Thank you. And uh, soy sauce. This is. Soy sauce. Okay. All right, so gotta have the soy sauce. I do love my soy sauce. Oh yeah. For me, it's all about the soy sauce. <laughs> yes, you love the soy sauce, but I also like the wasabi. I'm gonna mix into my soy sauce. Ooh. So we asked Tommy Sean, where do the locals tend to shop for their fish? Yes, uh, where, where we, do the locals we mostly shop? go to the supermarket. Oh, the supermarket. <laughs> Local fishies. Yeah. <laughs> so here is more designed for the tourism. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're very okay. popular, right? Yeah, yeah. Popular. this place is very popular for tourists. When is the uh, the busiest time of year? For this? Uh, August, maybe. August, because we have big summer festival. Ah, uh, famous nationwide. It is called Nebuta Festival. Oh, the Nebuta Festival. Twenty-two huge lot of water merging uh, through the street. Wow, oh, so big floats. Yes. Then, oh, that's so cool. With 32 merchants? 22. 22. Yeah. Wow. wow. Is it only for one day? From 2nd to 6th. The 2nd yes. to the 6th. So August 2nd to August yeah. 6th. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, I am, here I am comes excited. The test. Here Take comes the, the test. test. The true test of love. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go with this thing I like the most. I love crab. Oh, it's, yeah, crab looks good. That looks good. Mmm. <laughs> It's very good. Actually, with the crab, you don't need this. You just eat it by itself. The flavor. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I've never had fish for breakfast. Oh. <laughs> it's the first time to have it for breakfast. But right. Yes. So, what would be out of all the items I picked up today? What would be the most popular? Tuna. The tuna. The tuna. Yeah. Is this one here or the fatty tuna? The fatty and red meat tuna. Oh. Famous. See, I could have loaded up on that. That's good, good tuna. Good, good tuna. Good fats. Tuna mm. is caught all over Japan, but most uh, special tuna is caught in Tsugaru Strait. Tsugaru Strait is located uh, during Konshu Island and Hokkaido Island. Ah, so oh. in between, it's, yeah, it's the a, two. Tsugaru Strait, International Strait. That's where we took the train under. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's very good. It just melts in your mouth. Yeah. Wow. You would actually like this. You know why? It doesn't taste fishy. doesn't taste fishy. fishy. I think I'll take Tanya's word for that. To make it so bad. <laughs> what does it eat? Uh, uh, maybe uh, small fishies. Oh, small yeah, fishies. Yeah. I mean, it's so delicious. Heaven. Maybe you need more fish for breakfast. <laughs> maybe I do. <laughs>
Okay, what's the verdict? Well, you know what? For a tourist destination, this one's pretty good. I have to honestly say I really enjoy connecting with the folks here. It seems like they're very familiar with tourists and cameras. Yes. And they actually, some of them put on a good show for the camera. But I think it's actually very good. And it's... Oh, you're still having sushi and sashimi in Japan. Exactly. And it's, the sea is right there. So, you know, it's fresh right here. Even if it's in these stores, it seems pretty fresh to me, so... I get to design my own nebuta. So let's see. This is the brush, the brush here. here. And then the color. So let's do eyebrows. China's designing her own nebuta. And every year there's a basically a, a massive parade with nebutas and dancing. And so Tana's making one. I'm trying to see if I can get an example. Okay, I see something. Let's do our smaller brush. Alright, okay. Okay. That's interesting. Then we have a little uh, smaller. Now will the eyeballs move? Can we make the eyeballs so great, move? But hey, it's, it's it's looking quite dapper. Tana's working on her artistic. I'm working on some the skills here. Oh, here it goes. This is way too much for me. There we go. Now get the eyeballs to move. Design here. Yes, <laughs> much better. It's all okay. Aha. There you go. There we go. Get those eyeballs go. moving. Oosh. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Nice, yes. there you go. Oh, that now is will the eyeballs amazing. move? <laughs> yeah, That's different, that. okay. <laughs> excuse, excuse me. Hi, how are you? There, there's someone over there, look. Oh, and there's, see? But then there's someone right behind me, look. Oh, you see them over there? But if I say he's looking over that way, he's gonna look over there. There he goes. Look at me, at, at me. Hi. <laughs> That's perfect. And there is Tana, my- Tana's having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a lot of fun. There's my creation. There you oh, go. I, Thank nice. you, buddy. Got the good stuff. So what you just saw right there is uh, yukata. It's a light style kimono, young by, worn by the young women in the Nubeta festival. So now, if you're looking at some of these amazing um, artistry here, well, these are done by the older Nubeta art artists. And there's a second generation face over to the left. The larger one here is a third generation and the fourth generation style here. And it, it, this one almost has a very similar feel, for me anyway, as American as Dragon Ball Z. Like has like the uh, artistic anime, you know, vibe as well mixed into that. But quite dramatic when you're looking at uh, these things. You see the expressions are quite intense. Yes. And it's, it's really amazing, the detail that they put into these. So this is amazing to be a part of. Oh, you see. Huge. Like a warrior. Yes. That's amazing. At last year's Nabuta Festival, they actually had 23 Nabuta floats, and they award a grand prize for the best float. And actually, the one right behind me here, this had the grand prize at last year's festival. So this is really interesting. 
You can actually touch a bit of it, a sample one here and it shows you how it's made. It's almost like a very light Japanese paper on the outside with metal wire inside. And in the past, they used to actually light the floats with candles. You can imagine, you can imagine in the wind and things like that, just the risk of fire. But of course now uh, they have light bulbs. You know what's cool too? Like in when it rains, they have to cover this. They cover it, of Because course. think about it, it's paper mache. If this gets wet, oh, that yeah. probably would tear very that could, easily. That could ruin it pretty quickly. That could ruin it pretty yes. quickly. Wow. Pretty intense, amazing. All right, now this is our chance to actually push our own Nabuta. So we're gonna give it a try. One, two, three, go! <laughs> uh, these are heavy. <laughs> I got it, Dave, I got it. Yeah. Are, you, are you there? Are you okay. with me? Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I think we need some <laughs> wheels. <laughs> So we had planned to head to the mountain where they have the gondola that takes us up to the top of the mountain to visit the snow monsters, which we're very excited about. But as you can see, a storm has actually come in to Aomori and actually at the mountain, especially up on top, there's blizzard-like conditions. It's very windy and Tomoe-san has been actually monitoring. There's a website that monitors whether the gondola ride is open to the top or not. But because of the wind and the conditions, it's unsafe to go up in the gondola. So they've actually suspended gondola service today. So we are not going to be heading up the mountain to the snow monsters, but we actually are heading into the snow and there's what's called a stove train, which is up in the snow where you can actually cook things in this train. It seems really cool. We're headed there right now. Yeah, that's better. Five or seven pieces. I see. Yeah. This is unbelievable. So Don't find it. <laughs> oh. Ah, so you start from the top and you kind of weave your way down. So I've got to show you something. We're actually walking to where we pick up the stove train and notice this RV behind us parked in just a tiny little inside parking garage. And just look how tight it is under the ceiling. Right there, you kind of see inside, it just fits right in. And I mean, if you were to touch those lights coming out, you would knock those lights right out. Woo, that is some pretty, pretty slick driving getting in there. And I don't know about you, but I wouldn't feel comfortable going in there with our RV, even if it could kind of fit like that. What about you guys? Let us know in the comments below. Woo. Now, in case you're wondering the train schedule, it's right here. really intense. I was actually being pushed by the gentleman in front. He was it's very intense. Yeah. Very intense. There we go. So <laughs> apparently this is very, very popular. <laughs> it's very popular. Very popular. <laughs> there it comes back. Holy cow. 
I'm ready to get on here. Okay, we got. Okay. Very busy getting on here. <laughs> oh, here's the stove. I think we go right there, yeah. Right here, right? Yeah. Right by the stove. Very nice. That one was very pushy. Oh, I bet, yeah. Oh my gosh. Right, it's very, very busy getting on here. Oh, there's yes. multiple stoves, though. There's multiple stoves. But I kind of like it. It's fun, yeah. Right here. Look at that. There's a stove. <laughs> right by the stove where we can actually make our pizza. <laughs> <Crazy>. <laughs> Very crazy. Run, run, run. <laughs> so just a fair warning, we had to be a little aggressive to get onto this this train. It was very interesting, very exciting. It's almost like going to a ride at Disney World. As soon as the right. gates open, everyone runs because they want to be close to the stove, which is a pretty famous stove train that's run by Coles. There's going to be uh, one of the, the hosts here. She's going to be making squid on top of that. And then once she's done with the squid, we can probably go ahead and make a, our specialty, which we have today is a pizza. I mean, this, this is this is gonna be interesting pizza. Oh, squid's already going. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, here's got some squid on there. This is where you can actually buy your own squid. You can purchase your own squid to come. There's all different kinds of things here for you. And they'll make it for you right on the ground. Like so if you're looking for a train ride and want a nice, nice cooked uh, squid, this is the place to be. Oh yeah. Dave, what'd you get there? Asahi. Super dry oh, beer. Ooh, yeah. Asahi super dry beer. Yeah, no longer the uh, Sapporo. No, classic. No, no Sapporo su classic. No Sapporo here. classic here. Sapporo yeah, this we is, got like, a lot. This is like Sapporo classic there here. There we go. Most famous beer in Japan here. How is it? It tastes like beer. Oh, <laughs> nice. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. I kind of like Sapporo classic though. You do. I do. Come on. Come on. So we're getting some squid. Could I squid? Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> ah, there it is, yeah. And it goes delicious with sake. So this is perfect with sake. Okay. It's not quite as quiet as the bullet train. No, it's not. And actually, this is, uh, Tomio san actually just said that this is sort of tradition. It's going to be very chewy. <laughs> very chewy. <laughs> it sounds like very chewy. Yeah, very chewy. <laughs> also, goes great with sake. We're going actually across the street. Across the street. That's ah, it. That's it. That works. There it is. Perfect. Uh, so it is. It's so romantic. <laughs> we have an old classic train with coals, squid, very chewy, and sake. We've always wanted to try squid on a train. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. Inside. Inside? Inside, okay. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, hot. Okay. So they tear oh, it up. Wait, they tear it up. Shred it. There's oh, more. There's plenty. There's more. There's more. Plenty. Oh it's a feast. Oh my goodness. This it's is a delicious. feast. Very delicious. Okay. Do you like it? <laughs> okay, get that sake oh, ready. Oh yeah, get it ready. If you need the beer, get it. Get the it beer ready. for you. Oh my goodness. No, yeah. Oh, I told you, like laughing at me. I'm like, oh my god, I never. Had. Okay, here I mean, we go. People are laughing First time. Supposed to be a little chewy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Maybe no taste. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Thumbs up for time, you guys. Mm. Trying to squid on the train. Mm. It's very chewy. Mm. It's very chewy. It has lots of flavor. No, oh, I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to have it while it's hot. I guess right? so, yeah, I guess so. Mm. Yeah. Mm. When's the last time you tried squid? <laughs> Six months ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have to say, I like it. Wow. Mm. It took me, I have to adjust to the texture. But once I got used to the texture, the salty flavor comes out of that. Really tasty. And he's right, you have the Japanese sake, it almost 
opens up your palate so you can have another piece. <laughs> Oh, this is going to make my day today. So, Dave. You may have to cut this. I am not cutting anything. Do we have this to, is perfect. Do we have, like, kind of the airplane uh, bag, you know, in case you get a little sick? <laughs> well, now we're going to have the pizza. You can go the terminal the pizza is bag. All right, give it a go. Chewy. I'm ready. Oh, it's good. Yeah, you got you to gotta just take the whole thing. Just love it. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. <laughs> that was wonderful. Can't wait to have another piece. Oh, oh perfect. Off camera though. Oh, here you go. Off camera. For you. For me. <laughs> Master, how do you eat? Show us how we eat. It's perfect. Is that your favorite? Chewy. 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 <laughs> Looks like I finished that. Wow. That's all there is. He ate all of it. All off camera. That's amazing, all by yourself. Yeah. You didn't share anything with anyone. You didn't share anything. <laughs> what are you showing? <laughs> Well, today we are finally leaving the snow. We're actually taking the Tohoku Shinkansen bullet train from Ayamori Station here down to Tokyo. It's about a three and a half hour train ride. And this bullet train is the fastest, the most luxurious, and the most expensive bullet train in all of Japan. Now the Shinkansen Tohoku, which is actually right behind us here, it's about a three and a half hour trip from Aomori to Tokyo, and it travels at about 200 miles per hour. And there's three classes on this. The first is a standard seat, which is actually very nice in itself. It's very nice. Then you have what's called the green ticket, which is the traditional first class ticket on a train, which is also very nice. But for this trip, we're going all the way to the top. The ultimate luxury is called the grand class, which is almost like traveling in a first class ticket. Sorry about that. One of the conductors thought we we're actually getting on this train. This is actually the train before our, our we leave at 1039. It's now just before 10 o'clock. This one's about to leave. So if you see it go, don't worry, we are not missing our train. We actually got here really early, which is pretty unusual for us. So it gives us a little time to enjoy the experience. But again, we are taking the ultimate in luxury experience called the Grand Class, which is kind of like traveling on a first class airline ticket. We're super excited to check it out. Oh, and here it goes. To get anything, babe? I would, but I think I'm gonna wait because we get all of the amenities on the train. Right. You, are you super excited? I am so excited. I mean, we had a little bit of experience of this grand class on the first leg. I mentioned this earlier, but it was just more of a trial run, not enough time. But this time, we have like two and a half hours, I believe. I'm gonna maximize all the delicious green tea, maybe some sake, some food, slippers, and I cannot wait to show everybody the tour. Uh, we have an extra hour. We have three and a half hours. Three and a half. Three and a half hours of luxury. Now, I'll tell you this, it definitely feels on the luxurious side, y'all. So that's why I feel a little bit more luxurious. Oh, you're styling. I just wanted to mention this one more time, how excited I have been about these vending machines. And not just because they're vending machines, but because you can get like hot beverages, hot soup, and some of these, it's, it's been unreal. And they have hot green tea, hot coffee, hot iced tea. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that we're getting on this uh, train where all the things are included with our ride, I would stock up on those. Just 
if you hear this bird chirp like that, there's a bird chirping sound that happens ever so often. And the reason they had that bird chirping sound here at the train station is because it's for the blind. So that alerts them they know the train is coming or whatever the sound is, they understand the sounds of the birds for what stations. And it seems to be different at various ones. And look, here comes the bullet train again. Another one. Ooh. That just looks like a dolphin. Looks like a dolphin just waiting to, to do its thing. Ah, love it. Well, here we go. We're entering the train. Very excited. Good job. Oh, Dave, look, it even says grand. Let me show you this. Grand class. <laughs> Fancy. Okay. While we're sipping away on our unlimited snacks and beverages, because at the going price of these Grand Class train tickets, which Dave will tell you later, you know we were sipping and snacking our money's worth. <laughs> anyway, what's really fascinating by this train, other than the fact that it runs at high speeds, reaching up to 200 miles an hour, while a portion of this train ride was hundreds of feet below the sea. Yes, y'all, underwater. I believe it's called the Seiken Tunnel, which links Hokkaido and Honshu. But we were moving so fast, we barely noticed. Not to mention, it's one of the smoothest train rides we have ever been on. class car. What you'll notice is the Grand Class is either going to be the last car. If you're heading south towards Tokyo, it's actually the last car. If you're heading north, it's the first car on the bullet train. And in the Grand Class coach itself, it's actually only six rows and there's three seats a row. So it's a total of 18 seats. And actually two thirds of the seats are window seats. It's, it's very luxurious. So the moment you enter the grand class seating area, yeah, they give you a grand class bottle of water. Get some uh, grand class salt chocolate. That's gonna come in really hit. And it looks like a, uh, a menu. And so there's two types of options um, for food-wise you have here. You have two options. You have a Western there, and you have a Japanese there. And uh, I don't know which one we're going with, but I think right now I'm gonna have some uh, hot tea and some, one of my favorites, sake. Dave, what do you think you're gonna have, the Western Fair? I think I'll, I'll try the Western. Okay, so one Western Fair and one Japanese Fair for me. And could I have some uh, hot green tea and sake? talking about. So just kicked off my sneakers and I have two very comfortable slippers. I'm gonna put those on my feet and show you what that does. It's kind of like, oh. And my cute socks. Cute little socks. actually go back so that they're not actually disturbing your neighbor in the back, which we don't have any neighbors at the moment in the back. We will soon make a brief stop at Hachimori <gasps> Bora, Hachimori. Oh, oh god, that's like, that's like the ultimate relaxing experience. And I just, right as I'm going to have some hot sake and green tea, it's perfect. I gotta go then. That's Western there and Japanese. Ah, oh, this is nice. Oh, it's warm, hot. Ah, oh, just 
green tea goes great with everything here, so it's nice to have some green tape. I gotta show you this. <gasps> and this is what's coming perfect. This is impressive. And sake on the train in the morning <laughs> because it's Japan. Exactly. <laughs> and it's part of our grand class ticket. Right, and you eat unlimited. Yeah, everything is unlimited. All the drinks are unlimited. So I'm not exactly sure what is in the box here, but it's like an assortment of different things. It almost looks like some sort of egg wrap and fish and salmon. And I'm thinking this might be like the dessert part of it. I'm not quite sure, but I'll let you know how it tastes in just a second. And this is the Western Fair right here, which is like a sun-dried tomato and something squishy. <laughs> something less squishy? Less squishy. It looks like cheese-ish and crunchy squishy. Western Fair. It's my kind of squishy. <laughs> That was definitely a green bean. This looks interesting. Not sure, it looks like some kind of fish. Everything's fish, so it looks like some sort of fish. Mm. A weird texture, like sponge. Lots of variety of things, but I think this is, must be the dessert. I mean, look at that. Looks like a tiny baby pie. Rice, corn, let's see. Mm. Very good, I, I have to point this out. When you're riding on the train right now, you're going like 200 miles an hour, and my glass is right here. There's nothing locking it in. Even when we stopped at the stop before this, everything just felt so smooth. And you know what's funny? We don't even have any seatbelts, as I'm looking at this here. So it must be really, really safe to not have seatbelts, because that would be quite the stop. <laughs> seems to be in this one just a regular bathroom got your uh, little tiny sink here and you have your warming toilet for sure with all the different things where you can keep yourself nice and clean yeah uh -huh. all different options there for sure but it's a seems to be a smaller kind of common bathroom what I like is it's just kind of one of those where you put your hands in the front to rinse that's it that's it very basic Mm. Oh, and if you have a small child, they even have a section here so you can put your baby in there while you take care of your business. Mm. Or wash your hands in a cute little tiny sink that's automatic once you get close. That's what I like about things here. Everything's so automatic. It's super cute. All right, I'm going to use it before I get back. Oh, looks like there's a common wash station here as well, too. And they even have a larger one for handicaps here as well. now about 200 miles an hour and look how steady the liquid is in my sake and look how steady the liquid is in my tea very steady amazing at this top speeds that apple juice ooh, it's so good it's really good it's unfiltered it says it's uh, yamagatame yamagatame 
hóa uh, Fuji yeah, Abacat yeah. ha really enjoy this grand class experience here. Um, it's about a three and a half hour ride, which you guys know, and I feel like it's going by so quickly right now. Um, just had some herbal tea, green tea. I'm probably gonna have another herbal tea, maybe another sake, because it's grand class and it comes, uh, come, you know, free with the, with the trip, so. Now, in case you're wondering, we've had actually 5G cell service the duration of the trip. Now, they do offer free Wi-Fi, and I have logged into that as well just to test it out. And we've gotten basically 10 Mbps download speed. Not too bad. And then uh, you know, just a little bit 2 Mbps upload speed. So not great, but hey, hey it's free. What's really interesting too is right there, you can get call service anytime. So if you need anyone to come give you another beer, give you some more food or desserts, right there, just push that button. They just made an announcement that the train's operation has been delayed because of high winds. Not sure exactly what the delay means. It might, the train slow down a bit, so it might just be slowing down the train. What's interesting is actually, looking outside now, it looks as though the, the sun has come out. It's absolutely beautiful out there. But apparently the winds must have uh, picked up. Never seen one actually head out, so here we go. Heading out. Now that was a great train ride. Now we were delayed about 20 minutes because of, there's actually a gale warning here in Tokyo with winds gushing around 45 miles an hour. But we, Tanya and I, did not mind the delay at all. It's a wonderful experience on the train. And for those interested, the basic prices for the Shinkansen are basically $68 a person based on current conversion rate to the US dollar. Now, if you go into the grand class like we did, you actually add $122 a price per ticket. Now for us in this situation, it was well worth it. It was great. Now if you want a cheaper fare, take the uh, $68 ticket, nothing wrong with that. And we did speak to some locals actually up in Hokkaido and they said they don't even tend to take the bullet train. Now, I don't know if this is how true this is or not, but that's what they told us. That we, they don't take the bullet train. They tend to take discount flights down from uh, Sapporo to Togo, which can be like $40 or so a ticket, but hey, we love the bullet train. And by the way, we are here. We finally made it to Tokyo! Oh. <laughs> so we have three days here in Tokyo until we pick up our home on wheels. I am so excited. Day is like just blushing in the back corner over there. Well, you know what? Time for us to get to our hotel and we'll see y'all in the next episode. Sayonara.